You are listening to a special audio series Netaji Birth of Indian Independence. The story of this greatest warrior of India's freedom struggle whose saga of bravery and foresight will be repeated again and again for centuries to come in the history of India. Inspired by his biography, we are presenting his story in a new style in which entertainment is mixed with facts. Hope you like it. In the last episode, we saw Subhash's mother being surprised to hear her little child's interest in spirituality and his well-informed opinions on topics like fairness and justice. But this dialogue between them was not over yet. Impressed by Subhash's thought process, Prabhavati Devi became more eager to understand her son's motivations and his mental state. Seems like she is not the only one who is being curious. I am sure that like her all of you must be wanting to know the relationship of freedom of the country with ideology of little subhash that was guided by spirituality so without any further delay let us start the 6th episode of this special audio series netaji birth of indian independence called freedom via spirituality with me that is rj mini and the writer of this series manoj swami on your very own ace fm your baba didn't stop your dada sharad for the sake of his own selfishness subhash your father stopped sharad to ensure his safety and his career in the future the path sharad is bent on taking is risky and can put his life in danger prabhavati devi explained to little subhash the vikanda ji says to take risk in life if you win you will lead and if you lose you will guide the generations to come subhash replied promptly to his mother a stunned prabhavati devi asked who is teaching you these big philosophical ideas subhash the headmaster moshai of ravenshaw college at school beni madhav das replied subhash prabhavati devi was surprised and asked him but you are yet to join the ravenshaw college at school you will only be admitted to ravenshaw college at school next year so how did you come to know the principal of that school subhash i was introduced to him by sharad dada and beni madhav sir is very fond of me he loves me very much and often tells me to follow the path shown by ramkrishna paramhans and swami vivekananda Prabhavati is surprised by these words of wisdom from little Subhash and just like her elder son Sharad she also started seeing something special in Subhash she felt proud but at the same time also felt a little scared too for Subhash she understood that Subhash was not a pet bird and could not be constrained in a cage and was sure that little Subhash is going to fly away soon from the nest the moment he is ready and gets a chance to do so not even janki nath would be able to control or stop his flight the curse of epidemic of cholera and malaria again hit katak that year and these deadly diseases started to spread again all over the town all the british residents headed towards calcutta with their families to save themselves neglecting the local residents of katak town who were dying in thousands a large number of doctors who were trying to treat also fell prey to this fatal disease which further spread a sense of fear in katak the matter worsened to such an extent that the doctors too migrated from the town and there were no medical facilities left in the hospitals of katak sharad along with his mentor headmaster of ravenshaw college at school bedi madhav das wanted to help people but his father janki nath bos did not allow him to participate in that initiative janki nath too decided to leave for calcutta along with his family and sharad was compelled to accompany him while going to the station subhar saw deserted dead bodies lying on the roads of katak at few places on the streets of the town some parents were crying miserably over the dead bodies of their children while at some other places the wailing children were crying bitterly holding the dead bodies of their parents this horrific scene was imprinted on the mind of subhash forever 
he instantly comprehended the stepmotherly behavior adopted by the British towards the Indians without any further explanation. It was also clear to him that his countrymen were slaves. Little Subhash could easily understand that the Indians will continue to be treated like this until their country gets freedom from the Britishers. He turned and looked at his elder brother, Sharad Chandra, and could clearly see the pain in the eyes of his elder brother, Sharad. Subhash no longer felt the need to know the meaning of the word Azadi from that point of time. He remembered another famous quote of Swami Vivekananda, Strength is life, weakness is death. Netaji had decided on that very same day that he would never become weak in his life. Prabhavati Devi was the eldest child of the famous Hatkola Datta family of Calcutta. Her family was rich and highly respected in the city of Calcutta. For the last five generations, they were residents of Calcutta and their pride and passion was visible in a cursory glance. Every year, thousands of people used to visit their ancestral home from faraway places to see the idol of the goddess Mother Durga during the Durga Puja organized at the Rajpari. Prabhavati Devi's father, Ganga Narayan Datta, did not have an iota of false pride in spite of having such a long history of glory Zamindari. He was a very sensible man and had chosen well-read and promising boys as grooms for both his daughters. It was also said that Janki Nathbos had to take a written test to prove that he was eligible to be the bridegroom of Prabhavati Devi. Subhash used to enjoy listening to these stories whenever he visited his mother's abode in Calcutta. Prabhavati Devi had a very close relationship with her parents and eventually took over the reins of the Datta family after the death of her parents. She raised her younger siblings once her parents passed away and was also a very famous social worker. Like every year, Durga Puja was organized in her ancestral house that year. Inspector Delton had also come to Hatkola Rajbari to see the arrangements for the puja. His intent was to hit two birds with a single stone. Mandalal Banerjee, the police officer who caught Khudiran Bose, was shot dead by a member of the Anushilan Samiti or Jugandhar Samiti after the execution of the young Indian martyr. The killer was absconding and the police was desperately searching for him. After the arrest of Parinder Ghosh and Aurobindo Ghosh, members of both these committees were active in North Calcutta. Inspector Delton was also looking for the killer of Nandalal Banerjee. He was already aware of Sharad Chandra's links with the members of these committees. He had an inkling that the killer or his accomplices were trying to escape from Calcutta and if they had established contact with Sharad Chandra, then with his help they would succeed because of the influence of the maternal family of Sharad Chandra Bose. Inspector Delton was fully prepared to foil any such attempt. During the Ashtami of the Durga Puja festival, on one side Tunichi dance and the other festivities were going on in Durga Puja premises in which Sharad Chandra had to unwillingly take part, while on the other hand, Subhash, lost in his own thoughts, was sitting alone on the roof of his maternal house, away from all the noise. Suddenly, he heard a faint sound of someone writhe in pain from a balcony on the terrace. Water. Can I get some water to drink? I am very thirsty. The voice pleaded desperately. Subhash rushed in the direction of the voice to give water and finds that it was an injured young man who was begging for water. Subhash asked the young man, Why are you bleeding like this? The young man took a sip of water and counting his last breaths spoke with great difficulty. Freedom is not attained without the sacrifice of blood. One day, Mataram. Saying these last words, the young man collapsed and died in front of little Subhash. That's all for today. I am sure you must have understood by now that the famous composition of Nitaji's slogan, You give me blood and I will give you freedom, was influenced by his childhood. In the next episode, we will meet again to disclose what happened after the incident in Subhash's maternal home during Durga Puja. 
By V, I mean me, RJ Mini, and the author of the series, Manoj Swami, on your very own Ace FM.